Sorry about that. Hello, I'm back again with another video. This one today is going to be a little bit shorter, but you just have to bear with me. This week has somehow managed to be the busiest week of my life, and I genuinely do not know where the time's gone. But obviously, I want to sit down, I want to talk about books, I want to have a chat with you. So I'm back and we're going again. Don't you worry, don't you worry. Let's please ignore the hair as well because I don't even want to talk about it. I don't know what's going on right now. If you're new here, I'm Alice. I talk about books. We go on waffles, chats, vlogs, car vlogs, all that jazz. So, you know, if that's something you'd be interested in, you can stick me on in the background while you're making a meal, while you're tidying your room, or if you really want to listen to me, then go for it. No, I'm joking. But yes, consider subscribing, hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your continued support. Let's get on with the video. Today we're talking about The First Day Murder Club. So I'm currently reading the fourth book. Now, gosh, the fact is, I genuinely, I feel like I look like I'm on a reading sun, but I'm not because I really want to read this book. I am enjoying this book so far right now. This, don't hate me because I've done this, but this is how far I'm into it. I genuinely have not had a spare moment to read. And now I feel bad because I feel like I've been telling people, you know, five to 10 pages, five to 10 pages every day. And I'm not even following my own advice. I should be doing this. And this is really, really bad. So we're going to read our five to 10 pages today. Literally, as soon as I press stop on this record button. Also, I want to read this because I would love to move on to the next Bridgerton books. And you've got to stay tuned for that. Buckle in, come along for the ride because we're going to finish the Bridgerton series. And you are going to love it. So that is coming soon. Stay tuned for that. Now, loads of people ask me, should I read the Thursday Murder Club? And basically, this is what this video is. Whether you should read it or not. You have the classic here. And you have the second one, The Man Who Died Twice. You have the third one, The Bullet That Missed. And then you have the most recent one, which is The Last Devil to Die. Now, I cannot talk on this one yet, and I definitely will soon, and I'll do a whole, you know, overview. But basically, my answer is yes, I think you should read this series. Now, I love it. It's got a special place in my heart. It's definitely wholesome. It's a nice vibe. Something super easy and chill to just read and honestly i devour them usually in a day or two which is why it's frustrating that this last part is taking me so long because i'm not giving it enough time now lots of people say when they first start reading it they're not sure and i will i will agree the first one you have to get to know the characters but once you get to know the characters you are locked in and you want to read everything that they do you see this was the problem i got this in the hardback which means i've had to get all of them in the hardback because can't have my shelves looking bad you know what can i say i really really like all the characters in these books and my favorite is joyce i love joyce so you basically get a split perspective of joyce's diary and then split between all the other characters he introduces new characters all the time i feel like it's witty intelligent and i just think it's quite clever there's definitely a lot of plot twists in there as well which sometimes i get almost like i'm almost there but normally he'll throw something in that's quite unexpected which i also really really like honestly i feel like it's the perfect balance of thriller in terms of it is still a murder mystery but it's a lot more humorous and for someone like me it's a little bit of a scary cat this is definitely a nice vibe so i challenge you if you've got this on your shelf and you haven't read it or you know you just fancied reading it or you can lend a copy from a friend or a family member I would say give it a go and let me know what you think in the comments below. Crap video, I know, but I'm very, 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 very excited because I've got some other videos that are filming in the background and that also takes up a lot of my time. I still do have another job and other things to balance with it as well. So, you know, bear with me, but we're going to be here. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep pursuing this because this is what I want to do. This is what I'm passionate about. Talking to you and, you know, reading books, sharing thoughts about books. I will be consistent. Don't you worry. You will not miss an upload from me, even if you have to have just a slightly shorter video. So let me know in the comments down below if you've read this series and what you think of this series. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this was a short one. It was quite... I feel like if you're new here, you didn't really get to know me. But click on one of the videos that's recommended at the end of this one and you can get a bit more of a vibe. See what I'm like usually. 
I mean, this is a very one-stop tour. You kind of seen it all in one go. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the exciting content coming up soon. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Hmm? Hmm? Thank you. Thank you very much. And as always, until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye! Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to, don't forget to like this video. Smash that. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Smash that. Woo! That was intense. Intense.